Hi, we're out today on this awesome all new Saxdor 320 GTC. Uh, this boat is fitted with twin uh, Mercury 300 V8s and it's also got the joystick control package on it um, from Mercury also. Um, the way this works is it has a joystick obviously and it has three different movements you can use at once on it. One is a disc on the top that spins the boat round. One is then the joystick where you can push backwards or forwards and then you can also push it sideways, left or right. But you can also combine all three of those movements in one. There's two power controls on it. So there's just a steady and, and a faster or a more powerful control as well that just gives you more, uh, delivers more power um, as you're operating it. So in stronger conditions, if it's a bit windier, for instance. I'm just gonna let this boat get out of my way. Um, some also some other features on this system. One of which is something called Skyhook, which is exactly what it sounds. Um, it's basically a virtual anchor. So it will, if you press that button when you're in a location from, from neutral, that will then hold you into that position within reason or within a certain area. So it's quite a useful control for you um, if you're queuing for anything. Um, there's also on this boat a, um, an autopilot system. Sorry, I'm just uh, letting this boat get out of my way. So what I'm going to show you now is how this system actually works um, in in practice. So I'm just going to let, again let this boat get out of my way, and I'm going to bring it directly alongside in between those boats over there, and up alongside or pretty much touching the uh, pontoon. I don't have any fenders on me, so I won't actually make it touch, but you'll get, get the idea from, from what I'm doing. So I'm gonna to start to move the boat sideways now, and what that will be doing is it independently operates those two engines at the back of the boat so independently steers them and independently puts them into gear to get the boat to do whatever manoeuvre it is you're asking it to do through the joystick. So at this present moment in time, I'm going to put the boat into sideways movement. So as I'm going sideways with this boat, there's a number of factors that are going to make me go, not go true sideways. So for instance, if I have wind on my bow, then the, the bow will be pushing over one side. So you can correct that. So I'm going right with the joystick now. It's actually going quite well at the moment. Um, but if I wanted to turn my bow or stern, if I turn the joystick, we continue to go sideways, but the bow will turn. Or if I turn the, the, the disc backwards on the top, so the, to the left, the bow goes in the opposite direction. So there's also things that will be, so if you look over there, we've got tide running or, or water running from, from left to right. So as we're going sideways or trying to hold it on sideways, we're holding the bow into position, but then we could be getting pushed backwards or forwards at the same time. So while I'm doing those two movements of sideways and um, holding the boat square to the pontoon, I can also go backwards or forwards to counter the effect of the, the water uh, pushing me. So that's a noisy boat in the background that's just fired up. I'll just unfortunately have to go through that noise. So just start again. So I'm gonna put it alongside that sun seeker up there. So I'm going into my side movement. My bow's pushing over to the port side. So I'm gonna correct that by turning the disc to the starboard side. And I'm gently nudging forward. So I'm gonna go with slight reverse at the same time. So once you, get the position you want to be in you just get the right amount of control on your forward backwards and spin and side and then you just hold it basically and then as you get say more shelter or more wind against you like now i'm starting to go backwards a little bit so i'm going to gently edge that joystick forwards just to counter that and then when you lose a bit of the wind on your bow then you're going to be over compensating so you just have to really square yourself up to the pontoon and then just in real time uh, maneuver the boat accordingly so again now I've, I've gone a lot more sheltered here so I'm just gonna slow it down a bit stern to turn that joystick to square it on a bit and if, if, if you're not sure you just stop and it sort of resets 
in itself. So those engines go back to the position they'd be in if you were going forwards or backwards. So you've got lots of time to do this. So I'm just going to just turn that joystick again just a little bit, just to square myself up again. And then I am going to push it sideways again. And it's nudging forward very slightly. So again, I'm pulling back on this joystick. My bow's starting to go to stern, so, uh, to uh, starboard. So I'm squaring up there. And as you can see, we've got a nice straight movement now coming alongside. forward a little bit again so I'm just going to go backwards slightly on the joystick nicely and slowly we go pretty much struck sideways Soon again, go the opposite direction, turn the top of the joystick to square myself up, self up, and then we're going to gradually push ourselves away. So we've got all the opposite factors against us here now. So the wind, I'm having to counter the opposite way. Small movements just to find that control and then I'm going to spin it out here so we're turning that joystick on the top it spins it on the spot so it's a lovely option to have it's not the cheapest on the 2022 pricing the joystick control package was 17,000 um, so you know a lot of people are very happy with just having the twin engines and a um, bow thruster as well for more information on this boat or the Saxdor range please give us a call on 01758 703 013 send us an email sales at idealboat.com or visit our website and contact us through idealboat.com thank you for watching